Hey, what's going on, everyone? Uh, had a pretty solid weekend. I went and saw that Doctor Sleep movie, and holy shit, um, it it ex panned out exactly how I had thought it was going to in regards to Dan, because I feel like that whole Danny guy represents um, the tooth uh, day non. And I made a video a long time ago, and I, I actually made it unlisted because I just I hate using children as like my spiritual examples i don't know it just doesn't feel right but i mean in this movie it was so sad they ended up i don't want to spoil the movie for anyone who hasn't seen it but there were some very sad moments and they showed the abuse of um those who have gifts who are clairvoyant i mean it all connects to like twin peaks and like stardust they had they showed the people who eat all the energies of the people who are um you know blessed with clairvoyance and the ability to see spirit world and all these correlations exist through these movies and they show even at the end. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna wreck the movie for people. But pretty much what I made in this movie, how I said about how uh, Dan um, sacrifices. You know, it, it all tied into this in my little ass video that I made here a long time ago in September. And I didn't even read the book. I don't read Stephen King novels. I mean, I see the movies. I know he he knows a lot, especially when it like that movie, The Mist. That was intense. But um, yeah, so I I just. I have a good feeling about the next 10 years and I just think things are going to get better. So, and this movie, this freaking movie, oh my gosh, <laughs> it's like, it's like everything I was watching on this screen, it's like, I know this is real. I know these people fucking exist and I know there's energy vampires and it was just epic and I really do hope, and they show, I mean, this is, it's like the two of thought they not and it's. The tribe of of Ham and there, I had watched my one video, um, the worshiping of the dead. That one hour video I had, uh, talking about you know those who worship the dead and those who are fighting the, the evil spirits and whatnot, and who worships the the evil spirits, the ancient Nephilims, who you know the men of renown and the heroes of old. And these are them. These are these people who live forever by stealing energy from others and. It's coming to an end, and I love this movie. It was just amazing. It showed, and I, I don't know, just because someone's black or white. Like I think everyone has the power to change. It doesn't matter who you are, what curses you have accumulated through your lifetime, or what families you you come from. You have a choice. Everyone has a choice, and this movie showed the choice. You can either join them or fight them, and. This young lady, this is such a beautiful movie, and I would recommend everyone go see it just because it was freaking amazing. So, yeah, thanks, um, Eyes Wide Open, for re referring this to me. I didn't even know this was, I thought it was something I could download, and then I saw it was brand new. So, awesome. Thank you so much. So, yeah, this movie was legit. If you can, if you have, you know, perception of what this is and the vampires and what's going on in the spirit world, especially here, and people living longer than they should because they're stealing <laughs> what they shouldn't yeah this movie's for you and the shining is awesome i mean i love those movies who doesn't who doesn't like stephen king novels you know i definitely do he definitely knows a lot he listens to his dreams so there you go oh yeah i just want to add uh some other things about this movie i think at the end uh dan when he was seeing her called her amber but her name was Abra, and I know that means connection to Abraxas, and they talked about, they did speak about Abraxas a little bit in, you know, coded messages, <laughs> like Abracadabra, um, that's Abraxas, but they also, so Electrium, so if they called her Amber at the end, that's the color of Electrum, it's an ancient mythical metal that would create electricity, and electricity is like a creative force in our universe because without electricity you don't have any consciousness you don't have any awareness so amber became or abra became amber i thought that's what danny had called her amber stone so <laughs> amber stone come on it's the electrum stone she is she's the rock in the pillar so yeah and ham had uh they were given the kingship after the flood it was said and then Nimrod wrecked everything. So 
who knows? There's probably a lot to look into this movie, especially the names, and there's a lot of digesting to be done. And I'll look into it. I might make a video about it. I don't really have time, but I mean, if you have eyes to see, ears to hear, all this stuff, you'll know. You'll see. You don't even have to like really admonish. You just know what you're looking at. So, and you know, I miss things too. I'm not perfect. I don't always see what I should, or you know, composite what is in front of me. But I do see some things that you know there is some disclosure going on in these movies you know but it's, you got to suspend your reality and you know i really don't think that's fair either that you know they'll they'll send you truth but you know they call it fiction i i really can't stand that and then you got to pay money to the box office if you want to see something you know that can expand your mind but you know just read a book or something i, I guess you don't have to go to the movies you know there's a lot out there there's a lot of truth out there you just got to discern and you got to use your reason. So, yep. And yeah, Abraxas, hey, thanks for the movie.